Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Show and View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. With some major backstage news on Vince McMahon's concern over the WWE's roster. Hmm, what could this be leading to? What is this indicating? What is this all about? What is up with the WWE roster? Is there an injury? Uh, is there uh, a conspiracy? Is there a lack of consistency? Is there longevity? Is there dedication, Lee? I don't know, because we're going to get to it right now. One WWE source recently went on about WWE's lack of talents at the top of the card these days. While CM Punk has been gone for almost eight months. Can you believe that? Almost eight months, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine that? How fast, how quickly time goes by. The roster, the WWE roster is still feeling the effects. And they should because CM Punk was one hot commodity for the WWE. Although when he was WWE champion and he went on an illustrious reign and he cheated to win just about every match, he still wasn't in the main event because they had to use John Cena in the main event to compensate. Although CM Punk was right on the level with John Cena, but still, John Cena was still more important than the WWE championship. And that is one thing I don't agree with. Daniel Bryan being out of action has hurt the roster depth more. And it's uh, become a major concern for Vince McMahon. And it should be a major concern for Vince McMahon because it has not been a good year for Vince McMahon. Losing all those money, losing all that money, losing all those millions of dollars, not reaching the WWE Network subscriber account, uh, a bunch of um, uh, pay per view networks uh, dropping him, you know, companies, I should say, you know. Uh, whether it be Comcast or uh, Cox or what have you, a lot of pay-per-view providers dropping Mr. McMahon. And Vince McMahon, a lot of cuts, a lot of superstars released, a lot of talents unexpectedly fired. Um, it's been a tough year. It's been a, it's been a battle. I am sure that 2014 has given Vince McMahon a lot, of, a lot more gray hairs than he anticipated. Um, you know, Vince McMahon is a man that's uh, you know, driven to work hard. And he doesn't believe in a day off. He doesn't believe in sleep. He feels that if he's sleeping, he's missing something. And you gotta, you know, you gotta respect Vince McMahon's drive and his dedication because that's kind of the work ethic I have. I feel that if I go to sleep, I'm gonna miss a big rumor or a big headline, or I'm gonna miss something to give my view on to my subscribers because I want to keep my subscribers in the loop. But here's the problem. Here's where the WWE has made a crucial mistake. I think the WWE looks at it like this. Why haven't they pushed other superstars like a John Cena? Why haven't they had a strategy and a storyline? And why haven't they, you know, gave another superstar, you know, a focal point? Well, I, th I feel that the WWE sees it like this. There's no competition, no need to create another John Cena. Yeah, we had, you know, the top guys back in the day. You had other guys to rely on when there was injuries or what have you. The Rock, Austin, Triple H, The Undertaker, Kane, Mick Foley. All marketable, all big names in their own way. And now, really, Daniel Bryan's injured. No CM Punk. All you got is John Cena. Roman Reigns certainly ain't getting the job done right now. He may in the future, but not right now. That's where the WWE has hurt themselves. They feel that they can just sit back and John Cena can do this forever. Well, I tell you what, he won't be able to do it forever. And Vince McMahon, you know, the, the, the WWE has no one else to blame but themselves because they're putting more focus and more emphasis on the WWE Network instead of pushing and building and creating new stars. That's the problem. And uh, it's, it's a growing concern. Not only the content, but the way the superstars are pushed, the way they're utilized, the way that some superstars aren't even booked on the show and they're just backstage twiddling their thumbs waiting for a golden opportunity. You know, it's really sad when you talk about NXT being better than Raw. Whoever thought that a minor league that is nowhere near the superior to SmackDown or not even close to Raw, and we're talking about it in a, in a better light than Monday Night Raw. That's what the WWE has come to because of a lot of mistakes, a lot of blunders, a lot of mismanagement, a, a lot of bad timing, a lot of injuries, a lot of bad luck. And like I said, you know, the WWE has, they, they have themselves to contribute to this mess. Your comments, your opinions, and you know, I hope things get better. I want to see something improve. I want to see change. I want to see Vince McMahon go back to the Vince McMahon we know. We know that Triple H has the right feeling, the right vibe. You know, he, he, he's he got the right uh, mentality for what he wants to happen. He has a vision, but Vince McMahon also wants to go about things his way. And as we know, you want to try to talk about Vince McMahon and talk him into doing something. If he sees it his way, that's the way it's going to be. Subscribe.